Hi guys, I'm Cassie from Feradal Creation and if you want to learn how to use your sewing machine or simple sewing tips and tricks, I upload videos right here every single Wednesday on this channel. In this sewing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to attach Velcro to fabric. So Velcro has two parts. It'll have a side that's got these really um, coarse hoops on it and the second side is like a little bit softer and fluffier and when you stick them both together they attach really firmly and you can rip them apart. I'm going to show you how to attach velcro to fabric that's unsticky because if you use the sticky version of velcro it generally gunks up your needle and it's going to be harder for you to attach to the fabric so I recommend that you go with unsticky velcro so here I have my scrap piece of fabric and my two pieces of velcro this is my hooky part and this is my soft furry part I'm going to start with the furry part first and I'm just going to clip it into place so it doesn't move on me. So I'm over at my sewing machine and I'm going to make my stitch length a little bit shorter. I'm using a really hot pink thread in both of my top thread as well as my bobbin thread. As you'll see on the fabric, you would probably want to use a grey thread in your bobbin as the fabric is grey. I am also using a 9014 Microtex needle and you are going to want to put your needle in the down position so every time it stops at the end of the velcro here it's going to stop in the downward position so when you pivot it's down and it makes it easier to work with so we are going to attach this fluffy velcro all the way around the rectangle if it's your first time attaching velcro to fabric I would just recommend that you just take your speed control down a little bit so this regulates how fast you can go So now we're pivoting around this corner and you see how easy it is to pivot around this corner with your needle in the downward position. And then we're going to pivot again. And then we're going to pivot again. Now, when we come to this corner, we are going to do a diagonal line across the Velcro all the way to this other corner down here. Now we're at this corner, we want to just get to this other corner over here. So we're just going to travel back down again, down the original section. And then we are going to go down to this next corner.
this is how we attached the velcro so we went all the way up here across all the way down here and then across and we made this nice rectangle and then when we got to this corner here we went diagonally and then we wanted to do the other diagonal so we went across here to here and then we did another diagonal across making a cross to make sure that this velcro is firmly attached to the, the fabric let me show you again how to attach velcro to fabric this time is the more coarser side of the velcro this here is the coarser side of the velcro needle down and we're going to go down it stops in the downward position and we're going to pivot stops in the down and we're going to pivot stops in the down and we're going to pivot again Now we've come to that corner and we want to go diagonally across the Velcro. Then we come to this part here and we're going to travel across our existing stitch. And then we're going to come diagonally back down to this section here. So here it is, the Velcro is attached to the fabric and we went across, we did the rectangle box and then we stopped here and we wanted to do our diagonal so we came all the way down and then we had to stitch across some of our existing stitches over here and then we go all the way up just to make that stronger attachment for our velcro and on the reverse it's going to look something like this so here we have it two pieces of velcro attached let's just place them together and they're going nowhere there we go I really hope that this sewing tutorial has helped you with how to attach velcro to fabric please leave a comment down below because I really enjoy reading them. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss seeing me next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.